Hi, I'm Tim, aka Microbook Many, and uh, today I'm going to talk you through some of my micro machine collection and also some of the nerdier stuff around how I store it and organize the collection. So, my collection is stored mostly in four sections plus two. So, the four sections are sort of what's derived from the product itself or how Galoob. I um, spoke about them, and that's the promos, what they call promos, what we call specials here, which I'll come on to. Uh, then we have what Galoob called basic, uh, and they tend to be uh, the, the general release of the cars and the, the other vehicles. And then there's military, so that would be the sort of third product line within Micro Machines, and then finally at the end we have license so that's the film and tv license but i did say there's plus two um so the the first of those two would be the sort of unreleased the pre-production the prototypes decos test shots the sixth section would be miscellaneous so down there i've got factory errors i've got suspects they could be real micro machines they could be fakes not finish checking and then there's the, the jazz wares range as well. You might be wondering what this row is here. These are for those annoying micro machines that are not quite micro and they're too big to fit inside the trays that I have. So I've had to um, keep the trays open and have them in a, a separate line. So each of the sections are color coded by these logos, these micro but many logos. So the pre-production stuff is gold and the promos or specials are this holographic foil. So it's very much like the reflectors. The basic range would be in the, in the blue color. We have a slightly lighter blue here. It's still the basic range, but it's not cars. So up here is all cars and this is the other things like vans and aeroplanes and semis and monsters. Military has its camo colouring and then the licensed stuff is this silver and that's basically because it's from the silver screen of the film, the, the movies. If there's any dots next to it, the dots mean that they're complete. So if we have a look in here we can see that um, we have the complete set of deluxe micro machines, which is not too difficult, but quite hard to find in some cases. X-rays, got the ultra movers and reflectors. That's complete. Classic chromas, classic chromas, both of those complete. Now you can see that there's um, sparklers here, and this doesn't have a sticker. So this there must be something incomplete here. Anything incomplete is designated by a white brick. These are Lego bricks, which are almost coincidentally the exact same size as Micro Machines cars. So it's perfect for placeholder. So what that means is there's no knock on effect of the rest of the collection. If I find a missing item, I take out the Lego brick and replace it with the item. So it doesn't have a knock on effect with the rest of the collection. I don't have to move every single vehicle over by one. We have the triple siders, um, smash ups, you know, insiders one, you know, the ultra small minis. And here we go. There's still, there's still a couple missing there. They're um, smaller than the white Lego bricks. So I got smaller transparent Lego bricks for placeholders. Nearly complete. I think there's three or so missing from the Insider Series 2 set. Best of 10th anniversary. Uh, completed the limited edition silvers and golds. We've got micro lights, super micro lights, blaze and roar, street glow, stunt maniacs, speed shop, imposters, some color changes, color changes, glow in the dark, private eyes. Uh, the uh, Magic Box series and Trophy series all complete. Turbo wheels, Super 4x4s, the Radicators, not many people's favourites, probably the uh, most unpopular of the range, I would say, because they're too big. Collector's Edition Corvettes, 
that's complete, including the um, the CE3R, the, um, there it is, the rare one that had uh, too many factory errors to get the correct unit number. Highway Warriors, Ripcord Racers and Snapbacks. We've got the reversibles there. Remote controls, there's loads of remote controls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trays. Four remote controls, missing only a handful now. The slot cars, power choppers, and then the gliders, which I don't think many people even are aware of. They're, they're very unpopular. Let's have a look at what Galoo called the basic range. The basic range was basically the standard collection of cars and vehicles without some of those flourishes and finishes that the specials had, such as reflectors or ultra movers. Um, the basic range is split into two in my collection. We have um, this dark blue uh, M. Uh, this is for just cars. And then down here, we have a lighter blue M, um, micro but many logo, and that represents other vehicles like race cars, vans, semis, we've got some monster trucks here for you to see. And all the way, the trains, planes, boats, anything that's not automobiles, basically. But if we come back here to the, the cars section, this is all um, in alphabetical order. So we have um, the Cora, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, through to Bentley. Here we have some BMWs, quite popular. Um, and then eventually we get to Chevrolet. Chevrolet is probably the OEM, well it is the OEM with the most representation amongst the cars. There's more Chevrolets than there are any other OEM. Um, Ford is second, but I think it's the Corvettes that are responsible for Chevrolet's vast array of uh, cars in the Micro Machine universe. But eventually it does come to an end and we, we get to, um, you know, Datsuns and Dodge and Ferrari and Fords. Um, what else do we have? Jaguars, Jeeps, Lamborghinis, Land Rover, Lexus, Lincoln, Mazda, McLaren, Mercedes-Benz, MG, Nissan, um, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Plymouth, Porsche. Eventually we do get to um, the Volkswagens and the Willys. Try not to laugh. And um, that would be the end of the basic car collection. Um, perhaps in another video, I'll talk to you about some of the other vehicles that are here, as well as military. Well, thank you for joining me on a tour of my collection and how I store it. Um, perhaps you can get some ideas from, from what I showed you, how you might store yours uh, with something like micro machines there's some, something like 10,000 vehicles here can get very much on top of you so I would definitely advise finding some way of um, organizing your collection uh, and if you like this video please like and subscribe and you know if this gets enough interest then I'll, I'll make more videos so hopefully see you on the next one